Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to what I believe is part two of Ren's three or trilogy in this uh, story we got going on. So this is Screech's tale. Let's see what he has to say. There we go. Gorgeous. Yeah, Ren. Just Ren. Samuel. Our story, it starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny, clocked out like Big Ben. Not clocked out like Big Ben, Jesus. Gorgeous, gorgeous intro to the song. He he plays the guitar the same way I feel like he he sings in the most unique, artistically expressive, bright, quirky way. In a way I've never heard anyone else literally strum the the strings of a guitar like it. it, it the way I don't know his artistry is just so different, and I think the way he sees the world, the way he sees his music, the way he creates, really all comes together um i love the oh and then he like le leaned into this thing so where we last ended was screech took jenny's life whilst trying to rob her so now i guess we're gonna get some of his backstory poor jenny clocked out like big Bang. That's crazy to say. Hey, screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Like. Patrick, man, let me in. Please open the door. I think I fuck. Who does that? Where, where did Screech go? He melted into the night like snow. And then he knocks on the guitar that sounds literally like a door knock. And now we're in, now we have been literally let into the door of Screech's story. Like whose creative mind can do this? He's otherworldly. Patrick, man, let me in. Please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy. You think? Left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man. I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. Mm. No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Y'all, I'm so invested. I'm so invested. Now he's got hey, this. Hey, babe, are you in? No, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For f so is this Screech calling his girlfriend? Because Patrick wouldn't let him hang out or something? Also, shout out to the cowboy starter jacket. I can't get over it. I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sake! Screech has anger issues. Uncontrollable anger issues. Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the shot. Oh, the night. shrill sound of justice. Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss. I'm Screech is out of his mind. He's out of his mind. <laughs> 
What do you mean to tell me? You were just gonna take on the co what? What? You fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four yeah, bullets to Screech's chest. Richard, of course Richard... Bop, bop, bop. The kid is running after him. What? This is not the way I saw this going. This is not the way I saw this going. Oh, no time to hesitate, stress. he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. <laughs> Look at this. The camera fell to the ground. <sighs> ah, story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jen. Now the story ends right at the start, but at the beginning, it started right at the end. I love, as sad and like kind of scary as this was, the again, like artistic directorial decision to have the camera become screech and fall you know to the that that was a it just visually it was such a cool it painted the picture really well I to the star young screech and poor jenny lying one street apart one street apart not fit so shaken by the boy that he claimed two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame it's such a shame Ooh. shame okay Ren remind us of the vocals this one stressed me out oh my lord Ooh. all right there's one more so come back uh, around to watch it with me, I guess. I, I hated that, that that's how that, I mean, I don't know how I thought it was going to end with him having unalived someone else, but that is not the way I saw that going. Like, all right. Whew. All right, y'all. I got to go decompress from that. Go and have the day that you deserve. Peace.